an extension of the horizontal two-body system is one where a pulley is used. And the pulley essentially changes the direction of the rope. So as we can see, we have one object that is able to move in a horizontal plane and a second object that is able to move in the vertical plane. Now the one key realization here is that they move simultaneously. So when this object moves upwards, it corresponds to this object moving to the left. So when we define our reference direction, I'm saying the reference direction is upward for this object and to the left for this object. Now this question states that an object is being pulled to the left, meaning there is motion to the left. It is a four kilogram object. The applied force is 30 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.13 and it is tied to a pulley or tied to a two kilogram object with a rope moving over a pulley. The steps that we follow here are exactly the same as for any other two body system. We start by drawing a free body diagram for each object. So for the four kilogram object, we can see that there is going to be a force of gravity pulling it downward since it is on a surface, there must be a normal force that is pushing the object upward. We can see that there is a tension force in the rope pulling it back. We have been told it's moving to the left, which means that there is a frictional force, a kinetic frictional force acting to the right as well. And then the only force pulling it to the left must be our applied force. In the same way, we draw a free body diagram for our two kilogram object. For this object, it is simply a force of gravity that is pulling the object downward and a tension force pulling the object upward. We ignore the effects of air friction as they are so small that we can consider them negligible. Our next step is to write a Newton second law expression for each one of these objects where we can use the free body diagram to assist us in doing that. And we can see here that there's one force acting to the left, the applied force, minus the two forces acting to the right, those being tension and friction. Those are equal to the object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. We then substitute in the values that we already have, those being the applied force and the friction that we have calculated separately. And the mass of this object was given as four kilograms. We can now do the same or we can rearrange this because we know we're going to have to substitute here, we can rearrange this to write it as tension is equal to 24.9 minus 4a. We can then do the same for our two kilogram object where we know Newton's second law applies if net is equal to m times a. The net force here is the forces acting upward, that being tension, minus the forces acting downward, that being the force of gravity. And the tension is our unknown. The force of gravity has been given to us, or we have calculated as 19.6, and that is equal to the mass of this object multiplied by its acceleration, which we can now rewrite as tension is equal to 19.6 plus 2a. Once again, we have two expressions and two unknowns, or two equations and two unknowns. We can substitute this equation in for tension in this equation, which then gives us that 19.6 plus 2a, that expression for tension is equal to our first equation expression for tension 24.9 minus 4a. This allows us to write it as 6a is equal to 5.3 and therefore the acceleration of the system 0.88 meters per second. This is a positive value, so it means it's to the left for our four kilogram object and upwards for our two kilogram object. And then finally, we can calculate the tension in the string by substituting in that acceleration. Since the acceleration is constant for both objects, since they are linked together, and we can solve then to find that this rope has a tension of 21.36 newtons in it.